Greetings and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Catherine of Sky, and as you see, we have just unlocked the next Mecha Move Speed bonus with our research. So today is the day we're going to go to faraway lands or faraway planets and all the kind of things. Uh, I did look at our inventory and I think I would like to get a few more some things. Let's see, it was the uh, yeah, smelters that we were looking at making. Those are over here. So let's go shopping for those real quick. And maybe just take, maybe I'll take two full stacks and then leave the 31 at home. And what else do we need? I think we're actually pretty good. Now what I've been looking at um, is the, the calculator, factorio.github io and if you use this calculator i would highly recommend uh, there's a donate tab and you can buy doug a cup of coffee let's see here it is it's just i think it's like what three dollars or something like that and it's just a nice thing if you use this tool very often and i like to support creators as people have supported me so let's see let me get that back up on screen here so anyway we're gonna go for yellow science that is our main goal so what we're looking for is to get titanium crystals uh, these are a combination of titanium and organic crystals and we're gonna need energetic graphite plastic that's part of the oil chain uh, and here's the oil stuff. And this is, I don't know if this is new or if this was here before. Hold on, is the, I'll get it back up, that's great. That's my, that's my 20 second thing <laughs> keeps going off. Uh, otherwise I forget though. But anyway, it tells you exactly how many machines you need, which I think is great. So it makes it a lot easier to plan with these things. And I think it's kind of cool. So anyway, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off with one uh, yellow cube per second. And even if that number seems a bit low, uh, the reason for it, is uh let's go over here again uh the reason for that is because in the future we're going to be able to find organic crystal mines and i don't really want to spend a lot of time setting up the oil production for organic crystals when we can actually find them out in nature so anyway um i think it is time for us to go out into the world we have many wind mines we got all kinds of stuff i think we're ready to go so let's Actually, you know what we can do? Oops, let's land first. Land. Um, one more tech thing. I want to get to start uh, doing this research toward the uh, yellow stuff. I think, is it here? No, it's structure matrix, this one. All right, so we need to get these different items. Let's get this, queue this up, queue this up, and queue that one up. All right, so all of these are going to be researching as we're going to our destination all right so okay to get up into the atmosphere you kind of do a there's oh there's our ice giant hooray um anyway you double hop then you press w and then you press shift to accelerate now we are going to go to me 1549 i think that is where we want to go where our shift uh, i shouldn't have shift clicked that much i think all right i'm going to aim slightly to the left because i think the planet is going toward the left uh, I'm not holding W because that just realigns our position. You can see, okay, as we're drifting, if I move the cursor here to the left, then I press forward, it adjusts the position. However, it also costs fuel to do that. So important that we don't hold it the whole time and drain fuel constantly. Um, but we just want to kind of crash down gently. Don't worry, we have insurance, it's fine. Oh, wow, that was funny. All right, we get a construction drone task. And here we are. We are at Me 1549. Let's go and see what we have on this planet exactly. And this one is going to have our titanium. So if we press N, it will um, orient us toward the nor north side on top, which is the red stick. Um, and we can kind of see where stuff is. Now we have two titanium veins right here and that's very tempting for me. There's also a coal vein here, which I am, let me look at our uh, spreadsheet once again. Uh, to make titanium, okay, we need organic plus this. Where does the coal come in? Ah, it comes from, yeah, the energetic graphite made into diamonds. Okay, that's fine. Anything else? I guess we just need energetic graphite. And is all of that made into diamonds? 
six coming in and one. Let me just see if I can figure out where all of this is going. I kind of forgot actually where it's going. Ah, there we go. So part of this is going toward plastic and part toward diamonds. So that's, that's very handy to know. Um, so most of this, I think is going to take place on our, on our main planet. So all we need really from this planet is the titanium. So what I'm going to do is just set up some, uh, some mining. So let's see what I wish is, man, can we just like control click something? No, we can't. I really just want to like, okay, where are we? All right, let's just go that way. We'll go that way. Or, or another thing that we can do is just go to the nearest one and set up some mining here. Oopsie, alt. Let's set up the mining first. Uh, let's go north, north. Where's north? Hello? N? Where's the N? Yeah, okay, it's fine. All right. Um, I think we can set up a few furnace lines over here. That would be just fine. So let's get our uh, our conveyor belts on. Now we could get the, how fast are these? these so these are, are double, those are 12 per second. But the question is how much, how much can we get from these uh, veins here? And this is going to be approximate. I don't think I'm gonna take our bonuses into account at the moment. Hello, Nai, Nai, okay. How far does this have to be? Pretty far, apparently. Now, I think uh, we probably should. Okay, mm that will go there. This one can go there. Looks like we're gonna have some that are not covered by miners, which is a bit unfortunate. Because of the lava. Now, most of you will know that I'm not a big fan of landfill, but we might actually need some if we need to tap those two uh, things. But we're going to count how many veins we have access to. There's a 6, a 12, 18, wow, <laughs> 24. All right, and uh, 24 and 4 is 28. Divide that by 2 because they do half per second. That's 14. So this thing can support 14 smelters. Uh, and that's tiny bit more than this assembler or this conveyor belt can transport. However, because veins run out, I think I'm not going to bother. I think I'm just going to do one belt and we're just going to take this up this way. And I think that's what we're, we're what we're going to do here. Just make sure that none of this gets disconnected. I know that was a big problem previously, but I think uh, for the most part, the Devs have fixed that issue quite a bit, so I'm excited about that. All right, we got some more mecha fuel power. Hooray. I gotta say, I really like these diagonal belts. They are super cool. Super, super cool. Let's see. I've always wanted them. I like, oh, oh, naughty, bad. Look at that. Did you see that? Just took it right off. It's like, no, you shall not. Do not. All right. So we can put these here, just kind of just making space here, you know, and then I'm going to have probably one here and then maybe too close to another wind mine. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm going to, I'm not going to put them here because that's really prime building space right there, but we can have one there just kind of in these spaces where we're not going to build. That's probably the most useful thing that we can do. We'll put down the rest uh, later. For now, I want to get this thing going. Now, this belt can support 12, um, 12 smelters. So we're going to start at this end. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, that's what we want. And then put another line here. And I think, I don't know how long we need to make this. I forgot our count already. I think it was like two and a, two and two or something. I know, or maybe it was three and two. Three squares and two extra thingies, but I have completely forgotten, so that's okay. We don't actually mind. Let's put this here. This is the nearest we can. And this is gonna make titanium. Now, if I've forgotten something, it's my own fault. Wait, hello? Where's the titanium? Hello? Oh, did we not get it yet? Hold on, hold on. We might have problems, very big problems. 
Yes, we do have problems. Oh dear. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's fix this. All right. So this is structure, this, 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 and this, what is this? This is drone engine. We'll get that one after titanium, I think. Inventory, we can't yet. We're looking for red, blue only. Can't do that. I'm really looking forward to getting the stacking. There it is. Sorter Mark III cargo stacking. Basically, that's a stack inserter is what this is. Cannot wait for that. That's going to be great. Ooh, we can do more to vertical construction. We can do... Nah, maybe that's not next. Let's just choose the other text that we need to get yellow science. So go here and here and structure matrix here. We also want to have thrusters, I believe, because we need that to get the planetary logistics system. This is super cool. And this is what's going to enable us to build very efficient kind of uh, malls, like sky malls. Hooray. <laughs> it's going to be cool. Ah, and here we need this as well. Oh, no, we need diamonds. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, OK, it's fine. We're going to get it. It's going to be fine. Yeah. But let's see, take this off, that off, that off, that off, and that off. So let's get the smelting there. Now then, now we can go for this. And, uh, 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 naughty, naughty. There we go. There we go. And then thrusters over there. And then we can go for this. And then the other thing, I so wish you could move these things around. It would be nice to just be able to like drag and drop them would be very, very handy. Anyway, drone engine, sure. That can be added, but it's not like super critical. Okay, we are doing very well now, except for the fact that these things don't work, but it's okay. We will just, um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'll put down these guys and we're gonna use the uh, Mark I. Oh, there we go. Hey, we have it already, hooray. Okay, perfect. It's quite quite fast all right titanium smelting now this is two per each bar um and it takes two seconds to melt so i think we need one per second right so that's the same as this thing however the output belt is actually going to be less so let's just drag this you can uh, somebody reminded me of course that you can press shift to do this i've done it in a few previous episodes uh, but i don't remember if i said to press shift or not but anyway um because the output is halved compared to the input we can only uh we only need a yellow belt coming out so no need to use the other belts when we don't need to now then, uh, let's grab these guys and we need 12 of them. Let's go ahead and walk over here. Let our drones start building all of this stuff. And 12 is because we're going by the amount of stuff on this belt. Remember, we could do 14, but the belt wouldn't be able to carry that many. So let's see. We have... Whoa. Hello. What? What? No. All right. Fine. Fine. We're going to do environmental modifications. Now, ah, yeah, this gives us a good chance to look at some of the new things. Now, there are two different textures you can use. There's like this one or this one. They're pretty subtle. Um, and then if you want to unlock a color, you can choose a color like red, for example, or green or whatever. And this might be a good way. Um, uh, Avon and I were talking about this, and it could be a good way either to write on the planet uh, in color. You can kind of see them in the dark. It's not too bad. It's not as fancy as like glowing cubes. But then again, you know, that takes a, a lot of beltage to set up. Um, or I was thinking like if I had a space that was just making a lot of extra stuff like maybe this space, uh, I would color it maybe in gray. So I could just put down a gray foundation underneath and that would remind me personally that uh, this space was making just random stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clear. This is no decoration. So we're just gonna clear that. Whoops, don't wanna use too much there. So anyway, um, because I don't like to pave the world, it I don't I don't like the way it looks at all. So, but this is kind of perfect for me. So let's see, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Wow. No. Oh, really? <sighs> Strikes again, right? Strikes again. No. Okay, it's fine. We'll just foundation it. Put the foundations on. Oh, oh, wait. This color? Yes. Hello? Why is it? Do not. Okay, fine. I didn't realize I had to click it. I thought this one was just, you click this button, but then it makes this button no foundation either. It's kind of a strange thing. All right, let's take these along. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. All right, this is kind of good, kind of perfect here. Oh yeah, so we'll use this here and we'll just do this extra like that. And then we're gonna snip this off here with the X. There we go. All right. So now everything is working fine. We need to just add power poles here uh, to cover all the inserters. Actually, we'll add it on this side. Mm, then here. Okay, good. All right, so then now we have this stuff and this stuff needs to just right now, it's gonna just go into a box. And what we can do is have this box output into the world if we want to. We're gonna just have things go inside the box. Let's just do the first thingy and then maybe the second thingy because this doesn't have the, um, the stacking technology yet. So it is going to need to uh, just go take them up quickly. But all right, we have titanium. This is kind of great. This is kind of great. So what, what do we want to do here? I think what I want to do is like take a space like this, which really isn't maybe suitable for much and just add uh, some wind mines. I think we really need to have some wind mines. And that space, is, I guess it's okay now that I look at it. It looks a little bit bigger than I thought, but still it's not ideal. And I would really like to just add a bunch of power. It costs almost nothing to add this power. So it's pretty great, pretty great. Let's just add there and just go all the way across. Whoops, hello. Okay, I didn't realize it took up my pointer. No, oh no. Okay, that way and this way. All right, that's good. Now they don't have to be in a square grid. What I'm doing is I'm measuring the tallest point of these things like this so that they'll fit and then just moving it all the way over to the edge so that we can fit the maximum amount in the section here. And I think that's probably probably the best we can uh, do with this. Let's take this this way. All right, good, good. Really? Dude, come on. I guess it, sometimes I don't see it, the red over the red lava. <laughs> that's why I keep missing that occasionally. Or that's why I miss it occasionally. Not keep missing it occasionally, because keeping missing would be not used with the word occasionally, I think. Okay, that's nice. How many do we have? We still have 155 left. Oh my gosh. Okay. And here I'm just going to try to just dot them in here. Just wherever they fit. Wow. They just don't want to fit sometimes. My goodness. All right, where else should we put some? Man, oh man, oh man. This is, um, let's see. Okay. I really love this, this new, um, 
uh, the drag, the drag uh, for the minimum distance, it is, it feels really good. It's like, wow, we've been missing this all our lives. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so glad it's here. It makes things really very easy uh, to do. And it feels quite efficient and stuff as well. So it's just like, this is what we've been waiting for. It's pretty great. Okay, let's go up. There we go, and like on this line, yay. We'll go over and do that other bit in a bit. Okay. Now we have a little bit of a funky section as we go around this copper. And of course, this is going to be a menace for doing stuff that's, um, you know, doing the dishes. But it'll be okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. It's going to be fine. All right, I'm going to go ahead and place down the rest of these uh, wind mines. And I think one thing I'm... Oh, yep. Yeah, organic crystals already done. This is good. Good, good. See, factory is working for us. And also our... Our... Um, storage is also working for us to get some of that titanium so we can take it directly to our uh, our other base this is pretty exciting though this is neat yeah i, I kind of felt like maybe i should make all the titanium products on this planet but at the moment since we don't have interstellar transport it's going to be make it a lot more difficult taking all of the oil stuff over there now what I'm going to do, I think, is, so this planet actually thrives much better on wind energy, or not, I mean solar energy, if I remember correctly. Let's go and look at the planetary data sheet thing here. Uh, yeah, solar energy is 136%, whereas the um, solar, uh, well, wind is 70 and solar is 136%. So what we can do is we can start making a few uh, solar panels. I think we have them. Let's see. Yes, we do. But they require green chips and they require <laughs> they require the other thing that we don't quite have on here. Actually, I think we have a little bit. Uh, we need silicon for those. And I might actually make them here. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. The thing is, we could also... Where is this silicon? Come on, silicon. Where are you? Is it underneath? It's not on the underneathies. Oh no. Oops. Hello. There we go. Titanium, iron, copper. Where is the silicon? Let's see from the top view. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Ah, there it is. Wow, it's all the way over there. Which is not extremely convenient for us. Hmm. I could go get some anyway, though. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put an extra box here. And I did want to make more boxes before we left uh, home. But I didn't. Let's see, let's just put this somewhere out of the way. Watch that it won't be out of the way next time. <laughs> um, hmm. How do we want to do this? Let's see. Wow, we have much, much, much stuff here. Let's put another layer on top so that we can expand this. Oh, and it's eating it up so good right there. Look at this. And this is this is just going really well. Um, hmm. Do we want the silicon? I don't. Since we're making all of these wind mines, I think it's not necessarily worth it. Maybe. Let me look at the other planet. Let me just see. What is the other planet like? What does it enjoy? What kind of energy? It doesn't like any energy at all. <laughs> 40% and 67%. Oh dear, oh dear. All right, so that's kind of made up my mind here about that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to firstly fill up the fuel. Let's put all of these in here as much as possible. I'm going to put the rest of the fuel in here. Uh, one thing that I also usually do is, um, let's see, let's leave, oh, I want to leave some stuff, but I'm not quite ready to leave yet. If we look at um, what I want to find is a coal mine or a coal vein. 
I'm sure there's one. Oh, geez, there's one over there. Is that it? 350,000, apparently. But I think it's lying to me. I don't see one nearby. I guess the closest one is that there. It doesn't have much in it, uh, but it doesn't really need to. Okay, I guess that's all connected. Let's take a power pole and just go down. I really wish you could click and drag power poles. That would be such a nice thing. Let's see here, here. What I could do though is I could just wind mine this down here. Oh, no, I put all the wind mines away. Oh no, oh no. And this, what we're gonna do now is for emergency power basically. Okay, let's press alt and go down. All right, and I'm just gonna put down a a miner or two. One should be enough actually. And then I'm gonna build a belt here and put in, I think I'm just gonna do like one smelter. I don't think I even need more than that. I probably only need one of these as well. How many is this? Three and four, that's seven. Eh, I don't know. Let's just have two smelters. And we'll put in our belts. And a box. Yeah, speaking of boxes, I need to make more of them. Let's see, let's make 10, there we go. This is gonna make energetic graphite. This is our emergency power. So that we can get back home uh, without, cause there's like, <laughs> there's nothing here. There's no trees, can't burn wood for fuel. That's not available to us. Not even basic things like wood, no, no. Cause this is a lava planet. All right. Okay, very good. So now we have the titanium crystals going on, which is great. And I guess we're just gonna need one inserter here. And I think we'll just have one row of energetic graphite. That's all I want here. Oh, whoops, I need one more power pull. Maybe put it that side. Okay, perfect. So we can just follow these power poles back up and over the uh, pole here. And what I'm going to do is just kind of dump most of my inventory here. And that way we'll have some supplies here for the next time we need to come and make stuff. I know in my other playthrough uh, on YouTube, this turned into like a major manufacturing center, the second planet. All right, let us get rid of most stuff. Belts. Uh, sure. Steel, chips, all of this stuff. Engines, yeah. Actually, everything. And then maybe make a second storage as well. And all of this. Everything. Just everything. Uh, I can take the oil extractors and refineries because I know I'm not going to need those here because there's no oil here. So we definitely don't need it. But all the wind mines and stuff, that can all stay here. And then the rest, I just want to take all this titanium home. Good, good. Okay, so that's great. And this planet will continue making titanium. And because it's all renewable energy, uh, we won't... Uh, oh, hello. No. There we go. Oh, we finally started to solar sail. All right, now we're going to go toward our planet Zayav. There we go. Just going to accelerate until we basically have no acceleration power left. Hopefully we don't get caught in the gravitational uh, aura aura of trunk over there. And we'll be just able to sail on home. But this is going to last us for quite a long time. Let's see, how many is this? Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten rows. I've never actually known that, how many rows we have. Uh, ten times three, four, almost four. So that's like four thousand... Uh, titanium, which is great. Ooh, wow, okay, cool. We have landed in a good spot, I think. Yep. Now then, where are we? 
There we are. I think we normally see the world with the south pull up. And that's just fine, too. Okay. Yep, all of this is working quite nicely. Quite nicely, indeed. Now we need to kind of figure out where we want to have the yellow science made. So what is yellow science made out of? Let's go ahead and look back again at our calculator. And we're going to see that, let's see, plastic is made out of, uh, -huh, plastic, yes, a recipe though for this is refined oil. Okay, so we're not needing hydrogen, we just need refined oil. So that's pretty good. We have a whole container here full of refined oil over here. It's actually getting to the top. It's, it's almost overflowing. And um, that's kind of uh, a tiny bit scary, tiny bit. What I do want to do is I want to get the, um, I want to make some more chests. I forgot what they are needing. Okay, they need iron and this stuff. This, uh, hello, there we go. Take two of these and get a bit of iron. Did I set up a chest for iron? No, I didn't. No, of course I didn't. No, because I would never run out of iron. No, no, I don't. I never run out of iron. <sighs> yep. <laughs> I ran out of iron. Oh, no. <laughs> I think the problem with that is... Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, geez. I never hooked up this other miner. Wow. How did I not notice that? That's fun. Jeez Louise. Okay, that's interesting. All right, let me get these belts out of here and get some more belts as well. And we'll kind of like get a few more uh, things that we need here. Take those and maybe grab one stack of these. All right, let's get the iron going on here. This is actually running out. It's warning us like, yo, you know, you don't actually have any. I'm thinking, you're right, I don't. Uh, oh. Huh. This doesn't actually fit. Hmm. If I... If I get rid of that ending, can I diagonal this? I can. Oh my god. Really legit use for that. Okay, I can do this, though. That's completely bizarre. But it works. There we go. There's more fun stuff. Hooray. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, no. I don't want this. I don't want raw iron. I just want regular processed iron. Let's see. Give this copper to you. All right. I'm just going to grab a little bit up off the belt. Oh, no. No, no, no. I don't want that. No, I really don't want that. I just wanted my inventory on. Because I don't know how much I have. Is it I? No, it might be F, but I closed this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. No. <laughs> no, it didn't work. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that was so silly. All right, it's fine, though. It's, it'll be fine. Anyway, we can give these magnetic rings over there. Anyway, I wanted to just make a few boxes because we left all the others on the other planet. So this is going to be nice to get a few of those done, made. And we do need to seek out a better iron supply, definitely, for this, this thing. I think what I can do also is maybe just put this forward and make a box here. Uh, yep, let's go with the, uh, there we go. Norwegians are going to know what I'm talking about then. Oh, yes. Okay. And then we can have just maybe three stacks of iron in here. I think that's more than enough. I don't think we really need any more than that. And this is just going to be the excess of what we don't actually process into stuff. Okay, so here we are. We have, let's go ahead and get some other things if we can fit them. I think we can. Just a few other bits and bobs to put into our inventory. Ah, yes, power poles, super important. And smelters, yes. It's nice. Isn't it nice to come back to the mall and just go shopping for everything? All right. I want to check and see where we can put the new build area for yellow science. So we have red happening here. This seems like a very nice place. It looks like we have two more oil seeps over here. 
Um, we're gonna need a fair amount of stuff. Let's see. We need... We need coal. And we need titanium and oil. And that's it. So let's find a place near coal. Actually, this area down here might work. It's a bit crowded. I feel like this land mass is not great. Maybe we'll just put it down here. There's the coal that we can use over there. I think we're going to use that instead. I think that's going to be a good, good end point for this stuff. So we can start off by having... Let's start with the end first, I feel. We're going to need eight uh, labs. Now that's something we don't actually have at the moment. I need to go and pick those up. But what we can do is... I want to place down... You know what? We can just pick it up and put it back down again. It's fine. I just want to put down the titanium. And we can just retransport it. It's okay. It's not really a problem. Oops. Hello? There we go. Okay. So I forgot that we also need some other stuff. Let's go and pick up some ingredients such as the, um, the circuits and... Yeah, there we go. We can pick up some motors and green motors and our electromagnetic rings and some circuits. Okay, that should give us some stuff. And once we get some more of the, um, once we get the planetary logistics system thing going on, then we're going to be able to build a lot better distribution for stuff. Uh, and that's kind of what my playthrough kind of wants to focus on at the moment. I'm just going to take each of these intermediates just in case we need them. All right. And we need, let's start off with this. We need eight labs doing this. So let's get those going. Looks like we also need some more iron. That is important. Uh, let's see. There is some, but it is being eaten by steel at the moment. So that's not ideal. Uh, but in other in other news, let's go and look at some of the other things. Okay, two smelters. Let's see, five assemblers. Now we're going to need some chemical plants. Now I'm going to look real, real quick at our calculator. And it says we need 12 chemical plants. That is something we haven't built before. And that needs steel. So I'm going to grab some of the steel. Oh, oh no. Wow. Okay. All the steel is being eaten here. Oh no. I think I'm going to put a, a, a stop to that for now. Uh, because we desperately need the steel for actually making stuff with steel. Um, wow. <laughs> I left all of the steel on the other place. No. Oh no. I think let's, yeah, we should open this up. But what we also can do is this. I want to grab... We can make this here. Let's do... Huh? Why? Okay, hold on. Let's do an U. There we go. Let's U that over there. And then we can take a... Let's get a stack inserter there. And... Can we connect it there? Yes, we can. Oh, perfect. Okay, so that's much better. And I think what I'm going to do is just grab up some of this iron because we have had some issues getting the iron. So this is nice for us to get a little bit of it. Okay, there we go. Very nice. So now we have 25 steel. This is going to take a lot more than that. Uh, so for these guys to have 12 of them, we need need a lot more than we've got. So we need 8 steel each and 12 is, let's see, 80 plus 16, so it's 96 steel which we definitely don't have at the moment. So let's come back to that, shall we? Uh, since we have the labs, let's go and just set those up and we'll let that steel make because I think that's a good idea. Let's go and set up let's be optimistic, right? And we'll set these guys up maybe, I don't know, maybe over here. This could be a little bit, um, or maybe down here. I think down here is good. Gives us a little bit of space. So that's um, one, two, three, four, five, whatever amounts. Several. That is several. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five. 
Hello? Did it not make enough? It didn't. Did not make enough. Uh, alright. We needed eight. We need three more, please. I'm not sure if I just didn't click the right number or what. But what I'm going to do is I'll just make them of equal height. I think that will be a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and then we're going to have our stuff coming in. So we have two belts coming in and one coming out. I'll go ahead and do the one coming out on the top side. We'll just take our fancy belts. I don't expect we need to. I think we... Well, since we're having one per second, no, we do not need to. Let's go down. Down two. There we go. I love that. That's cool. No longer do you need to have uh, intermediate belts in your inventory. That was a funny thing, wasn't it? Where you had to, like, have all kinds of stuff. <laughs> it's like, what? No. Uh, Alright, so... Yeah, eight seconds to make all of this. I think we're probably just going to need uh, regular slow belts in as well. So not necessary to have anything fancier than that here. And we will have fast inserters, though. Really important to have those. And let's just trim off those two. And then we can have the outputs here as well. Now here, it doesn't really matter which ones you choose. Uh, I like to use the threes because, in general, they have lower power than everything else once you get the stack uh, inserting thing, or stack sorting. Okay, let's find out if we have more stuff. Yeah, we do. We have enough of the steel now. To Whoa, that was the wrong key. Hello. Um, and we're going to make the chemical plants. We needed 12 of them, so 10 and 2... Let's grab more glass. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, two. Good. Okay. So that's now happening. This is good. This is very good. All right. Now the next step on this thing is well, well, what I like to do is work backwards on this. So we're going to need diamonds. So we need energetic graphite for that. And then... We also are going to need the titanium crystals, which are the organic crystals, which come from the oil process, plus the titanium that we shipped in. Let's start off with the diamonds. Now I'm going to go back to our spreadsheet and we're going to look, let's see, and see that we need two arc smelters making diamonds and that's it. We just need two of them. So these, I think, are just going to be coming just down this way. And I'll get the thingies. Let's see. One, two, three. Okay. And then this is going to come from here. This is obviously way too much. But that's okay. All right. So let's get you making diamonds, please, out of, yep, energetic graphite. Perfect. And we'll get, I like to use the slow ones for this, or the mark ones. Because you really don't need more than that, generally. Okay. Uh, all right. So this is what we need for this. And I'm going to see if we look at this thing again. We have six smelters making for stuff, but we only need two of them making for diamonds. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to put two on here making for diamonds. So I want to grab that and let's see, one, two, three. So if we have a belt coming down here, that's fine. Um, hmm. So I'll put this one here. All right, and you're gonna be energetic graphite. And again, we only need two. So let's X some of this. Uh, all right, and so for two of these, we need how much? How many per second? So it's one per second. Oh, let's see for, no, wait. Oh, help. Um. Let's see. I think we need 
four veins? I'm not actually sure. This is where the math starts flipping around in my head. The uh, the numbers just like jumble like a chicken noodle soup, like an alphabet soup, kind of. And it's like, huh, this one looks like this, but it could be that as well. <laughs> so <laughs> what I'm going to do is just err on the side of caution. This is eight veins. And so that should be more than enough, uh, which is four per second. It's going to be four per second plus the bonus, which I'm not accounting for because I'm not going to be doing fractions right now in my head because that's, again, uh, related to the chronic flipsia. No, that is not a real disease, but I don't have any other way of describing it. So here we go. Let's just see if this works. It does seem to be enough for these two. So that's all I really care about. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this belt because we don't really need it. And that is one half of our yellow science, which is kind of great. This is the easy half, by the way. <laughs> and I think we're going to leave the hard half for the next episode. We've done a lot. We've set up some titanium smelting. We have set up diamonds and things are going along to make a one science, one yellow science per second for the moment. All right. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.